Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Okami. This episode we're going to be going to the hot springs, which is, to be honest, where we needed to go in the first place. Wait a minute, please. This is us a bathhouse, Barrel Inn's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? it? Happened the other day, there was some sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. And the hot water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. An earthquake and a monster roar. Oh, well, I wonder if it was a disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return. But it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bath House has this ever happened. I'm so sorry. You've come all this way, only be disappointed. I blame myself, I beat myself with my own fried dr drumsticks. They cut that out. We ain't taking baths anyway. Please start again. I prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't flow. This is it. The end of Sasa Bathhouse. It's all dried up now. What would my ancestors think? Feeding myself with my own front drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you. We don't take baths, right, Furball? Oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. Well, hello, wolfy sprite. Wolfy little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the sparrow boss's missing daughter, and rid of the sanctuary as possible again. Wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you're having trouble with? Trouble, nah. That sparrow over there seems to have a problem. What's wrong, little sparrow? Please leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, it will revive the spring. There we go again. You wish to revive this dried up hot spring? I may be of assistance in that case. What was that? This bamboo tube on my back reveals down ground minerals. Or reacts. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. First, I'll need some help. I'll be a good little wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Thank you, both of you. Oh, very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging mini game. I'll explain it actually. Because otherwise it's long winded. Basically, this is a mini game that has broken some people. You have to dig really fast on these softer blocks. Make sure that he does not hit the spikes, otherwise you will run out of time. You have a three minutes total to start off with. You bloom these, and you can get more time. It is best to explode multiple blocks at a time, because it will also work on the ones that can um, be cut, so just keep that in mind. Um, explosions are the best way to go about things. If you need him to change direction, power slash him. You can run out of ink, so be aware of that. Also, you will run out of time if you also... Um, get hit. So be warned of that. I said this way. Buddy. Buddy. Alright. So, we're going to want to headbutt this. Um, slice this. Powerbomb this. Come on, buddy. Come 
I might as well get this um, taken care of. Come on. I can't jump up there. What are you doing? Alright, come on. No, you don't go that way. And then when you finally get down here... Bloom them. That will give them inspiration to find out where everything is, and then you dig! And the minigame's over. There's a couple of more mechanics to that, as you can see by the water and stuff like that, but unfortunately we do not have the ability to do that, so... We'll explain- we'll be explaining that in the next digging minigame, which by the way, those are acquired things. At least most of them are. Water! Water! The water is flowing again! See, I told you, my bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Ami. Thank you, both of you. I'll never forget this. You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. Look, Ami. It's happening again. That's a lot of dots. And I already messed up one, I think. I messed them all up. I can't even see where I'm pointing anymore. Probably the most have failed. There we go. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have recently remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Nuregami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. I'm not gonna talk about the fact that that's a snake preserved in sake. Nuragami? Oh, that's the god of water! It's mean you've got the water spout brush technique. Ouch, hot, hot. Fire! I'm on fire! No, the fried drumsticks were a bad idea. Like for you, Ami needs some practice. Ami, try to put out that fire with the power of water spout. Water spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over the water and draw a line. The water's power will pass in a line, creating a stream. Not enough talk. You better try it before it becomes a crispy, crispy critter. Put your brush on that hot spring and draw a line to the sparrow. Excellent. No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a stream. Power of water spout out, spot. Water spout doesn't end stop there. That bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? It's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. Draw a line straight up from that bubbling water. I bet you can create an amazing column of water. It doesn't matter sometimes if it's diagonal, it will still work. So don't worry about that. That's what I'm talking about! They can control power springs. 
That's a lie, I can't jump from that high. I didn't know you could do that. Maybe we could use this to find treasure in high places. Let's draw another water column whenever we see a power spring. Clover. I can even manage that. So, unfortunately, the game glitched for a second there, which was really awkward. But I think I'm gonna upgrade the purse now. Because the purse is... There's a lot of items that are gonna be worth another digit of money. So we're gonna upgrade it again. And then I will upgrade the ink pot for what I believe is the final time. I'm not quite sure. And hell. I put everything I have into my bamboo wear. Perhaps I could once again help others someday. Let's go get some bamboo from the thicket deep in the sanctuary. That means I'll have to go through that gate. The gate won't open unless it's a large bamboo tube of sounds. Who knows when that will happen. I'll just have to wait patiently. I'll be waiting a long time since there's no water coming up there. Generally, you want to jump and do this so that you have more camera room. There you go. This is where we need to go. Here. Another distressed bird. Oh, get a load of Tweety here. And what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know, it's Ty. Tripping, I'm crying. Our right, baby time. Oh, you're crying? What was that freaky cry of yours? Fuck is lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. It's Take. Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Oh, the cannon tracker suddenly started working. That must mean... Hmm? See what I see, Ami? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. I think we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. First things first, we want to feed these tigers. We want to cut it down as soon as it's glowing. Bingo! What's the dog doing in there? Take! Take's back! Take? What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Wait a minute. Is it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait, I think this flea bag's trying to say something, hmm? White wolf. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. 
Canine Warrior Gi. Use that on me! Must be one of the Canine Warriors! Canine Tracker really set him off. It'll be on me. Hey, you sure you're ready? Don't hold back now. The good old, I believe, he's a husky himself. You want to be very careful because these jo these dogs are not like the other ones. They have a lot more tricks. They are way more agile. And generally... Way more invincible. Two hearts of damage, wow. Um... And most often, they are more prone to dodging your abilities. I found that power bombs seem to do the most for them. I believe... Take... Or whatever your name is, I already forgot. His specialty is digging holes, which I've just seen for a split second. I wish that the reflectors weren't so slow. Man, I keep getting so low on health. Let's use another steel fist sake. Quit jumping around like that. If there's one thing I don't like about fighting these dogs at this stage of the game is they're more annoying than difficult. They keep jumping around everywhere, they're hard to hit, and the reality of it is they don't have very much defense either, and He's not even the most annoying one to fight, either. It's at this point that I know I'm gonna do terribly on time. So I'm gonna my way around that. But again, they are dogs. If they weren't agile, that would be weird. I'm gonna run out of holy bones at this rate. Exorcism slip stunned them. Which would have used it earlier, to be honest. Made no money from that fight. Cut it out, leave him alone. Oops, Axe, I skipped you. Oh. Power Orb has chosen you, I'm now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Huh? Okay, whatever, I suppose it'll make sense eventually. So, what I missed was he did not want to leave the bird alone because they saved him. 
when he was walking through this forest and all that. I I had my finger on like the A button and it slipped. Unfortunately, I thought I was pressing the A button to continue the conversation, but I pressed the plus button instead, which skips it. Um, I kind of wish they wouldn't let you skip cutscenes sometimes in games, because, like, say you haven't played the game in a while or anything like that, it, it would definitely be like, well, I don't know what's going on now if I accidentally skipped it. Like, so... But he basically gave us his power orb to take to Lady Fusei. I'm gonna have to buy some more Holy Bones soon. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Probably, preferably, another... Um... Oh, what a fabulous hot spring! Wolfie, well, I heard a ruckus from far, but aren't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Hot spring, I think we'll pass. Anyways, in about time you start looking for bamboo. Right, the festival's just around the corner. Also, on the night of the full moon. The night of the full moon? Yep. Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard of the great how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, don't you? So the village pays homage to the gods in the sacred tree. This year is the hundredth anniversary of the beast defeat. I better finish that bamboo wear if I want to sell the festival. Up dog, I just love festivals. We gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I might give you something to thank you for. Your help in the hot spring digging game. Isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. Mermaid coin. Thanks, Gramps. Oh, that's some grubby pocket change. There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across the pond. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of these coins. Sure, you could travel across the Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really, those are some wicked coins. Must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I kept it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you don't have to excuse me. It's the most festival season. The full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly 100 years since that piece was slain. I always think of Kaguya when I talk about the moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. There we go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. Mermaid coins are something that I don't think you're ever going to be using. They sound useful at first, but generally you don't really need to. So, that being said, we've done all we can in Sasa Sanctuary. The next stop is going to be Agatha Forest. See you guys then.